rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first to my left in the blue corner, he's wearing blue trunks with white trim and weighed in at 17 stone, 13 pounds. Coming to us from Riga in Latvia, his record consists of three wins, six losses, and one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alexander's Silizins. And his opponent across the ring tonight fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 18 stone, eight pounds. Hailing from Manchester, he was the 2008 ABA Senior Super Heavyweight Champion, and now as a professional, he is undefeated with six wins, and all six wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. You both in the dressing rooms. Remember, I tell you to break, you break quickly, you break cleanly, you protect yourself all the time. You got that? You got that? Let's go. Six three. All Tyson Fury's fights have ended inside the distance. And he's got that English title fight, a ten-rounder coming up against John McDermott, which is being scheduled uh, for a date in September. What can he do tonight against Alexander Selesens? No uh, danger about uh, mistaking who's who. Fury, slightly the larger man. Carrying a bit of luggage himself around the waist. Yeah, I think that uh, Fury is going to take some holding at domestic level. Well, he'd like to fight Derek Chisora, he'd like to fight Sam Sexton, he'd like to fight Martin Rogan and prove that he's number one right now. He might just get the chance if he beats McDermott. Well, that's a, that's a much more even money fight. But again, I'll re reiterate what I've already said. At domestic level, British title level, I think this guy's going to take a lot of holding. Salazar's in his tenth professional fight, he's never been stopped. There's a first time for everything, John. He's fought in Ireland, in Finland, in Germany, in Poland. Well, that's a good right hand from Fury. And Salazar's wanting to hold on. Fairly unedifying sort of uh, exchanges at the moment. Selazen's hell bent on giving it a bit of an octopus approach and holding at every opportunity. Yeah, he's doing a good job right now, just spoiling what Fury's trying to do. Fury, Fury realizes. He has his measure already. Just content to wait for the opportunity to land the and precise it, shot. Only made his debut last December, Tyson. His hardest fight so far, hard to say really. There's that guy, the German, who turned up in a kilt, Marcel Zeller. He gave it a good shot. And the, uh, the old hard man from Lincoln, Lee Swaby. He hung around for four rounds and uh, took uh, Tyson's licks. Uh, most of the others have been pretty facile, including his last performance, a victory inside two rounds against the big Irishman Scott Belshaw. Well, he's having to fight off the back foot there and teed off with a couple of decent shots. Yeah, they hurt. I don't think Selizins is going to be around for much longer. You know, he's supposed to be a durable opponent. Let's see what uh, Huey Fury, Uncle Huey, is saying to Tyson. Let him get 
close to you when you don't need to. Put your left hand out. Don't jab with it, extend it. Right, like they do in East Country. Hold him on the end of it, chest high. If he goes to move around it, use your right hand. If he dips under, right uppercut, okay? Don't fight in close. Move him around with your, with your left hand, okay? And work him up the centre with uppercuts. Yeah. Listen to me. Don't. Good evening, what do you reckon, Duke? Yeah, but Sound words of advice? At least it yeah, it sounds pretty good to me. Which I can understand it, but it sounds pretty good. Now I meant what Huey Fury was saying, for goodness sake. I know you don't speak Russian. <laughs> Small snapshot for you at home as to what it's like working with this guy. <laughs> Into the second round of this six rounder. And Fury winning it pretty much as he wants at the moment. He's been told to hold that jab out in Klitschko fashion and just snake it out as he is doing now. Fury much too good for Selezin's. Oh, that was a little reminder. <laughs> the exercise of this fight will be to see if this guy can take Fury a few rounds. Or even possibly the whole way. Strange things can happen in boxing, Duke. It only takes one shot. Yes. I suspect this fella's not got the one that's necessary, but you never know. I just caught him on the blind side there, so uh, he might get one of them home. Salazens is quite happy to have a big swing, isn't he? Well, that's, that's good. I mean, you know, we need to find out what, what Fury's all about. You know, it's good that he, that he hasn't already visited the canvas. He's still standing, he's still trying. He isn't any Charles Atlas, but you know, he's, got, he's got some heart and a bit of determination. Some gripping and dramatic contests here at the York Hall tonight. And Fury would need to go some to emulate that. But I'm sure he'd like to be putting his punches together a little bit better than he is right now. I think Fury's a little bit disinterested in his mind, in his mindset. Well, you certainly get the impression he's not fighting through fear. Trying to go to work to the body and bring up one or two uppercuts. And suddenly Sellers ends looks a bit unsteady as we reach the final seconds of this second round. Never been stopped, remember? But they've talked in grandiose terms about Fury being a man for a very much higher level than this. And he'll look to be wanting to get this slightly roly, roly poly heavyweight from the Baltic out of this fight before too much further. some of the action from the second round such as it was and he was certainly staggered in those closing seconds combination of the uppercut and the left hook well you know you would expect Tyson to uh, start delivering more uppercuts with the much shorter of opponent who was technically very very limited do you understand what do you understand that right don't more if he presses against you step around Okay, try and use some angles on him and tee off, we'll pick up, put him on the side, yet and everything. Okay, pick him, but use your jab after you finish to keep him out. Okay, try turning south for see if you can handle that. Seconds out, round three. Into the third of a six-rounder, not a hard one to score, two rounds to Tyson Fury. This kind of fight's proved to be quite hard uh, from a, a, in your own mind. You know, if you come down to your opponent's level, 
Salas ends bravely going forward and trying to land those big right out. Oh, he's been hurt by a body shot. I think it's uh, looking for a comfortable part of the canvas time before too much further. Salas ends very much at six and sevens, and yep, I think that will be the end of it. Well, he's got up, but whether he wants to continue is another matter. Are you OK? He says yes. I don't think he is. The white flag of surrender is being fluttered by the corner. The towel has been raised. Selazens is out of there. And uh, I have to say that that fight proved absolutely nothing about the capabilities of Tyson Fury. He will go in against John McDermott in a few weeks' time, who is an altogether more capable and accomplished performer. There's Dad John who I think would have also been too much for Alexander Selesens, even at 45 or whatever he is. Tyson Fury winning that one with ridiculous ease. He won't, uh, he won't learn a lot about what John McDermott can produce through that fight, except what it's like to have a bloke of 18 stone or thereabouts and 6 foot 2 and not in... In this case, a man in particularly good condition in front of him. It was a body shot followed by an uppercut, but it was the body shot which had him wincing with pain, Duke. Well, to be fair to uh, Fury, you know, we've seen him hurt guys with body shots before, so that was probably the most impressive thing which he displayed again tonight. But other than that, uh, I don't want to be too critical. I like lost the performance, but you know, the bigger test is obviously going to be coming around over the next few weeks. Yep, one for the future. Tyson Fury gets win number seven, but I very much doubt whether those who've packed your call tonight are going to be talking about that one at great length as they make their way home. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. 48 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Mark Green, stops the contest. Your winner and still undefeated, Tyson Fury! Still undefeated. I think it's fair to say he will have very much sterner tests ahead than that one, Jim. Yes, I'm sure you're right, John. Thank you very much indeed to John Rawling and to Duke McKenzie, Big Tyson Fury. I'm sure he'll be over here very smartly to have a word with us. Here he comes indeed through the ropes. OK, Tyson, sit down there. We're, we're live on ITV4 uh, at the moment, and um, you spoke to Andy beforehand. You, you wanted a workout in there, uh, but um, not the calibre of opponent, really, to give you a decent workout. Yeah, not really. He was just trying to hold and get close and whatever. And to be honest, it's spoiled it, really, for me, for everyone who's turned up on that. The, um, is it, is it um, any consolation to you, the first fella to have stopped him? Not really, no, because if you still say to him, obviously Tyson Fury's going to stop me like that all day. But to be honest, I couldn't get nothing going, which is through no sparring. Um, lack just of just it. explain that to us again, the no sparring thing. What, what, why aren't you getting sparring? Because basically no one wants to spar. Uh, I sparred Mark Potter, he's a game lad, but uh, I only sparred once and I've only done a few rounds, eight, nine rounds for this, for this fight. And... Um, be honest next fight i'm going to be in 100 percent better condition because uh, i don't know a lot of people know anyway that my back was bad and uh, it was just uh, an appearance on the fight uh, on the show really right. but i promise to be a lot better next time i'll be i'm going to go up to uh, tony sims's gym and train down there with the lads and uh, they're going to get me some sparring in from abroad so um much more better things coming obviously sure so this really was a case more of you showing your face uh, and performing and, and staying on the show. Ideally, you knew you weren't in great shape for this one. Oh, yeah, I knew I wasn't in great shape. I weighed 19 stone. And um, it's just a and that's just terrible that thing for everyone a, watching. And sure. it just shows you that being out of shape is no good for anyone. But um, it's just got happy. I'm just happy to be on the show because of me back and whatever. But um, I'm only 7 and 0. I'm 7 and 0 now with 7 knockouts. So bring them on in it. Line them up and I'll knock them down. Um, like always. A lot of people out there will sympathise with, with back problem. How serious a problem is this for you? Well, to be honest, it nearly put me out of... Uh, it's put me out of two fights already. This was nearly the third. I had a trapped nerve in my back and uh, severe internal bruising on a lumbar muscle. Right. I wasn't supposed to box, really, but um, a lot of people came, a lot of people bought a lot of tickets for this, so I wasn't going to let any of my fans down. So um, it's, all, it's all good, really. It's only a learning curve, really. This fellow's no threat, so... I didn't really box to me potential, but I got him out of there. No one else could, so another one for the um, 
old record. Sure. And how much of a, a motivating factor, just just finally for you, Tyson, is it going to be that you fight McDermott and there is a proper title, there's an English title at the end of it for a winner? Yeah, uh, Mac Muffin. I'm going to Mac Muffin it up into little pieces. <laughs> and uh, after he's fought me, he's never going to want to box again because I'm going to absolutely destroy him. This was a little stupid thing. That fella, fat fella like McMuffin, and he thinks he can do the same kind of thing, but to be honest, I wasn't even concentrating on the fight, really. Obviously, I wanted to be in there, but to be honest, I know when you know you've not trained and preparated properly, then you're not really bothered what happens, and he was right. just a knockover, but I know McMuffin's going to watch that and get uh, get confidence from uh, from seeing he can get in closer more, but... That's nothing really. Mick Muffin will get it. I okay. Promise you. Okay. Chisora, the rest of you guys out there as well, you're all getting it. That's a promise from Tyson Fury for all of ITV4 uh, viewers. All these heavyweights are going to cop it. There's only one man standing, and that's me. Well, good luck, and then good luck with your recovery. And I'm sure when you're next in the ring, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be a fitter and you'll be a sharper. And oh, by the way, you will have yeah. a better opponent as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Bring McMuffin on. <laughs> I think he's got the message. Cheers, Tyson. Thank you very much indeed. OK, back.